Hey, what's up? It's Swamp. Back for another tutorial. Okay, in this we're going to build an elevator with physics and we're going to add sound. So let's get started. First off, I have this board that I'm going to use as an elevator. So what we need to do is you need to add a physics joint. So go to Common, Physics Tools, Physics Joint. Okay, so now set this up. You need to set the type is going to be a slider. The properties are going to be advanced. Target 1 is going to be a solid object that the elevator can connect to. Not necessarily connect to, but it's just connecting the physics joint to. The second target is going to be the elevator. Okay, linear settings. You want to go to linear motor and turn that on. Okay, and then I usually disable collision. And then we need to select pivot. And so you need to just set your pivot up. I have my, uh, in editor settings, I have my rotation at 45 degrees. So just hit L1 twice and it turns it 90 degrees to point straight up and down. Okay, so now to test this, you need to have physics turned on. So turn on the physics on the elevator, push play, and it works. It goes up. So you need to adjust the length of travel for it. So let's go to linear settings, go to lower limit Y. And these are going to be different for you. This is just what I did. So, and these are just the measurements that, that match up for my particular situation. So let's test it one more time, see if it comes up. So you'll need to adjust those numbers to what you need them to be. All right, so that looks good. Okay, so now we need to trigger this because you don't want it going up right when you start. You want the rider to trigger it. So we're going to use some triggers. So we're going to use an area trigger to trigger the physics being turned on. I like using a rectangle. It seems a little bit more precise to me. So put that there. Make sure the rider can get pretty far up onto the elevator before it starts moving. Okay, and then physics event. Your target is going to be the elevator. Then you go to the trigger and on hit, turn on the physics event or turn on the physics. All right, so let's test it. All right, that works great. Okay, so now let me show you how to put sound in. Okay, so sound, there are sounds in the editor that are made for elevators. Grab a looping source. Go to objects and then you have these elevators here there's some other stuff you can play with use number two okay so I want to turn it off make it static turn the volume up I like things being loud okay so now what we need is sound events so we're gonna to go to triggers and events grab a sound event it's going to turn on the elevator. Then we actually need another one to turn off the elevator. Actually, I'm going to make the top one off so it makes more sense. Okay, so now what we need to do is come from the physics event and select event filter and you want to go to the sound event. And that will turn the elevator on. And now you want to wait until the elevator is to the top. So we're going to use a delay and then turn the sound off. So this off is going to go here. I did this before and it was around 280 or so. So I'm just going to try that. Okay, so the event filter goes to off. Now from on, we're going to continue the event filter to the delay. So what happens is you hit the trigger, it turns on the physics, the elevator starts going up, turns on the sound, and you hear the elevator going up. And then it waits till it gets to the top and then it turns the sound off. This sound automatically has a sound, an off sound. So here you'll see what I'm talking about. There you have it. All right, so that's how you can do it. Now there's one thing about this, we can adjust these sounds too. Adjust this, uh, this amount, it seemed a little bit long. Um, okay, so let me show you one thing about this. If you're riding this, 
put your front tire up there, it stops the actual elevator. It'll throw your sound off, the sync off. Plus the elevator stops, you can crash, makes your makes the router crash and stuff, and it's just not cool. So what I usually do is put a little barrier up to keep you from doing that. So let's let me show you how to do that. So we copy this board, use the smaller board, and just put it here. And then we'll glue these two pieces together. Okay, so now that turned off the physics, so we need to reconnect that. When you make a new physics object, sometimes it disconnects things. Okay, so now this works. Now what we need to do, here I'll show you what it does. Test the track now, so you can bang up against that. And it doesn't, it doesn't stop anything. It still matches up. But one thing now is you have to go through a board. So what I usually do is I'll take a copy of the board, raise it straight up, and then advanced physics, set it to decoration only, and then remove from glue group. So it's just a board sitting there. Okay, so now what you have to do is you have to align it up so it kind of aligns up pretty much exactly the same as the other board. So I'm going to just turn on physics here and just watch it and see if it lines up. So what you're pretty much going to do is you're going to switch these two boards out. You're going to turn the, the invisibility on on the one that's on the elevator so you can drive through it and you'll turn the invisibility off on this one that will be invisible and it will show this board. And then you can animate this board without having to break because you can't break a glue group so you can animate this board up like it's rising up to give you the illusion of the board rising up once the elevator rides up okay that's pretty close okay so now what you want to do is get some events more events object position events gonna move that board Sorry, got stumped. Okay, so object position event. Then you need a curved data source. And you need an interval trigger. Okay, so starting with the interval trigger, I'm going to set it to 1. And its event filter is going to be the curve, I mean the object position event. Object position event is going to be the Y position. is going to be the curved data source. We're not going to rotate and our event target is going to be this board. Okay, so okay, so that's not right. So we need to go <laughs> you need to adjust the uh, yeah, okay, that's right. Okay, so you need to play around with these. This is moving 100 meters. We only need it to move like 4 maybe. And I like to set this to ease in out whichever one Okay, so that's kind of high. We'll go three. Okay, so now what you need to do is you need to uh, stop this from happening. So we need to use a state event to turn this thing on. So we're going to use that, turn it on. Event targets are going to be these three things. Okay, so let's turn this off so it doesn't work immediately. Same thing with this, turn it off disabling it clicking the enabled button okay so now coming from this off event it's gonna turn off the sound but we want this to wait just a little bit longer before it happens so I'm just gonna copy this delete delayed event here bring it up here move it over to the on and bring it down to like maybe 10 that just gives it just a little time so you come from this off event to this delayed event. So what it's going to do is it's going to turn on the physics. The elevator is going to start to rise. You're going to turn on the sound so you hear the elevator. It waits until the elevator gets to the top, turns it off, then waits for 10 ticks, and then turns on this door to rise up. Now this door is, is a decoration only, so the riders can ride through that. 
Um, you could turn this delay down if you want. I just put it there just to kind of give it a little bit of time to... So, okay, so here we need to turn the physics off because I had it turned on. Let the event turn the physics on. So, all right, let's test it. Okay, so now we need to do <laughs> the visibility event. Forgot to do that. So, we need a visibility event. See, I'm just not thinking straight today. Okay, so we're going to set this to toggle. Event targets are going to be this board and that board. Okay, so now toggle means do the opposite of what it is. So, we're going to set this board to be invisible. Now, we're going to go from this delayed imp. No, we're going to go directly to this. Let's go here. It depends on which way you go. If you want to delay before it goes, it, you can ride through it after this point. Okay, so let's test this. Sorry about that. There's something in the air. I'm not thinking straight today. Alright, so going up, going up, then it rises up and you take off. So that was pretty cool. So that's what I meant to do. <laughs> Looks like it stops a little bit early, jumps up a little bit. So you want to adjust this delay. Might be a little long, but we'll see. So I like it to be nice and clean looking. There you go. So that's how you do it. Sorry for the little confusion. But uh, sometimes this stuff gets kind of hairy. So, alright, so that's how you do it. I uh, hope you had a good time, and thanks for watching.